morning, friends. It is Friday, March 20th. Sitting here drinking my coffee this morning, one of my springtime coffees. And just had some Ezekiel toast and some fresh berries. Today, what's on the um, menu or whatever you want to call it for today? Um, well, I feel so bad. Okay, so you know, all hairstylists and all them are not, you know, they had to close their shops and everything. So, my hairstylist, God bless her, is has my color and she's just going to have it ready to roll and drop it off at my door and I'm gonna put it on because I used to do my hair, just the roots I'm doing. I used to do my hair, um, my, my own hair by myself, I can't talk, um, years and years ago. And, um, but I used a box back then and it literally ruined my hair. And maybe it was the brand I was using, um, ruins my hair i mean my hair literally had to like regrow out because that's how bad my hair was from it so i just go professionally i've done it, done it ever since but i do know how to do my own i probably should have been a hairstylist and even a nail person because i when acrylic nails like the pink and white first came out oh my goodness like 20 some years ago i learned how to do it myself and um about all the stuff i used to do all my neighbors and as far as coloring, I was, you know, I can do my own hair, you know, so um, I'm going to do that. She's going to drop it off, literally ring the doorbell. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to wipe everything down. Guys, don't worry. She's going to head out. So um, then I'm going to just wash my hair off from my uh, sink in my laundry room and style my hair. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, and then, I don't know, I'll find some kind of a task to handle today here in the house. But in the meantime, I'm just going to enjoy my coffee watch some YouTube and um, I hope you guys, oh, you guys seem to really be liking the vlog of hope. Um, but also today what we're gonna do is all of you that I read yesterday that did give a suggestion, I'm gonna put your names in a little bowl. We're gonna pick one and then I'm gonna have you email me, email me and I'm gonna send you a little gift. So, all right guys, well, I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna go shower, not wash my hair and uh, just get myself all dressed up for the day for, you know, whatever the day brings here in the house. All right, you guys, I didn't charge my, lap my laptop, my battery, so it's really low on battery. So I'm gonna try to do a little bit of a, get ready with me this morning. I see Archie, where is he? I think he's on the pillow right here. Little Archie. All right, so let's just get beautified here this morning. <laughs> while we're sitting home, but why not? That's just, you know, get a little makeup on. This is what I put for dark circles. You know, I wish I had a second battery because this thing is um, beeping at me, which means I only have a few seconds left of the battery. Uh, I'll show you what I'm doing real quick. My Lancome, it's for like, you know, under eye circles. And then this is my Lime Life that I love. And it's a concealer, and I like to put that on top. I know, I put like a thousand concealers on, but I like them. This one just, I don't know what it does, but. Oh, forgot about my stuff here by Elizabeth Arden that I put on my lips. Just to give it a little hydration while I'm putting my makeup on. All right, I feel bad I can't finish this, you guys, because my battery's gonna die on me in like one second. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the battery on the charger like I should have done last night. And I'll char charge it up and then maybe show you the finished look. How's that? And maybe tomorrow we'll get a little more into detail. <laughs> so I got some makeup on here. I thought I would just share with you and some lighting um, what I put on. So what do I have? Okay. Um, you guys know how much I'm loving the Charlotte Tilbury, the eyes, uh, to mesmerize. So this one actually is a liquid eyeshadow here. Um, my friend who sells Mary Kay, she had it on in like uh, Insta story or something like that. And I am uh, maybe Snapchat and I thought it was really, really pretty. So I got this color, which I think is so beautiful. So I've got it here above my lid and i've wore this a couple times and i really like this color and i love the way it goes on i just use my finger once i put it on to rub it in and then on my lid i do have the charlotte tilbury eyes to mesmerize 
in jean, the color jean. Um, let me see if I can get this lid off with one hand. Let's see. Here it is. So pretty. And then eyeliner, I've got the Charlotte Tilbury, um, this um, pencil, eyeshadow pencil, but I have it underneath this. This one specific color is for hazel eyes, but you know, if you like it, anyone can use it. And then as far as blush, highlighter, and bronzer, of course, my Too Faced Sugar Peach, which I absolutely love, love, love. And then I thought again, I'm going to add like a pinky lip and went with the um, Clinique Petal Pop. Here you have it. Oh, yes. Um, our jewelry went live this morning. So go check it out. I see some of you guys already bought the earrings. Um, you guys, to see it in person, it's just stunningly beautiful. The bracelets are just gorgeous. So um, treat yourself or, you know, if you have your birthday or need a gift for someone, go check it out. Um, all right, so I'm just going to put any jewelry on or anything because, you know, getting, I'm going to be getting color all over the place. It's going to be funny. But, um, yeah, then once I'm done with all that, I will show you how well it came out. I'm doing this a little bit earlier than I normally would as far as timing wise, but if we do get put on lockdown, um, which, you know, we are self distancing, physical distancing, literally she's dropping it off, cleaning it, everything she's touched and I'm doing it. But, um, what was I going to say? But we may be on lockdown, so she won't be able to even do that. So I thought, you know, I'd rather just be safe and sorry. This will get me quite a few weeks that I won't have to worry about it. So someone did say on Facebook that we're all going to know after all this what our true, what everyone's true hair color is because, you know, I'm not going to get to be able to get to the salons and things like that. And it's a good thing too. I used to do my nails and I still have all my stuff here. So if I need to, I'll just do my own nails. Okay, guys, I'm going to go make another cup of coffee and uh, read all your lovely comments from yesterday's vlog of hope, day two, and take some notes so I can share those things with you guys uh, a little bit later. Okay, guys, this has not been easy. I should be time to wash this out. It's going to be really hard to stick my head underneath that little faucet there to do my hair. I should have thought before putting makeup on because it's probably going to be all down my face, but... Oh wow, it is what it is. This is how we're gonna roll for a while. <laughs> okay, got a little bit of drippage here on the mascara. I forgot how hard that is to wash your hair in the kitchen sink. Oh my goodness, my back is killing me. I'm gonna go clean myself up and uh, then maybe I'll gather my brushes and do some brush cleaning today. Hi friends, I'm sitting here reading all your amazing comments. Just got done listening to, or I am listening currently to our governor. Mark DeWine, if you guys live in Ohio, I think we are so blessed to have such an amazing governor. And um, I don't know, they just give us so much information. And uh, so I'm just listening to that a little bit here. And um, just, you know, um, writing down notes a little bit of those that we're going to put in the comment section uh, to pray for. I thought I put them right there so everyone can see that. Um, I just wanted to answer a few questions. Um, Donosh, am I saying that right? D-O-N-U-S-H. Um, I'm glad we're friends on YouTube too. I am so glad, you guys. I'm so blessed to have all of you. Um, I just love how you communicate and comment and your kind words and the love that you have for people and your faith. And I just, I love reading your comments so much. Um, but I know she had asked, you know, how's my mom? She's mom. My mom's doing great. She is in her beautiful, aged, you know, home for the aged women, a beautiful, beautiful place. And they're taking, well, you know, good care of our moms. And um, they're being fed like queens. And it's just a blessing. Um, Mark's doing great. Unfortunately, you know, my husband is an attorney, but he also um, does co-own some other businesses. And unfortunately, they're going to have to lay off some. And this is very difficult for my husband to do. He's just beside himself to have to do this. So um, not a good day for him today. Um, Archie. Want to see Archie? Archie, there you are. Say hi to our friends. Can you say hi? There you are. So he's just cuddling here with me. Um... 
I wanted to clean my makeup brushes, but I'm just not in the mood. I'm really not, I'm not in the mood, but all right. I just would rather just sit here and chat with you guys to be quite honest with you. Um, I don't know, it's 70 degrees out, pouring down rain. Like why couldn't it be 70 and sunny so I, we can sit outside and just get some fresh air? I mean, I would love that so much. But I've got the, the door open so at least I can see some light, you know, nice light coming in. Um, yeah, I did have the window open, the sliding glass door open, but it was sort of pouring down rain. It was raining in the house. I'm like, I can't do that. <laughs> um, what else? Anyway, I was like, you know, you know, the problem is when I'm sort of here and, you know, putting on the TV a little bit, just catching up on what's going on, especially if Ohio goes into lockdown, which we're not yet. But um, I guess why I really wanted to watch, and you know, I get like a little anxiety. So it's grabbing bagel chips and hummus and carrots, and I'm sitting there eating. I'm like, Karen, gosh, stop doing this. Stop doing this. So I put it away, made myself a cup of coffee, poured myself a big glass of water, and I thought, well, I'm gonna sit here and just read all your wonderful, wonderful comments. And um, I just love our community. I really love our community so much, you guys. I just so blessed. Um, well, I'm gonna get some paper and I'm gonna write down um, the names of all of you that did suggest names for the, um, the vlog and I'm gonna send one of you a little something special um so we'll I'll do that by oh, the hiccup sorry I'll do that here real soon uh and I don't know I'm just cozy enjoying my day I might even take a nap I woke up at four o'clock this morning wide awake and I just really laid there for an hour and a half basically so I don't know I'm just Excuse me, I'm tired. <laughs> I just cuddle up with this little one, take a little nap, and uh, dream of better days. <laughs> Arch. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the name of the um, suggestions you guys gave for um, a theme for our vlog, like a title. Even though I already did chose Vlog of Hope, but I told you all of you that gave an idea. I'm putting you in a little bowl and a little piece of paper. I'm gonna just toss them around and I'm gonna pick one. So here's my little bowl of your little suggestions. Toss and toss, toss her around. Let's see. All right. The quarantine series. So that is, I'm just gonna um, have you send me like a DM and give me your email address. Let me see which one that is of you that I picked. Hold on. Let me see here. I screenshot all of them. And that was little A B Z, little A B Z. So if you see this, send me a DM with your email address, okay? All right, guys. So I really don't know what we're gonna do. I gotta get something out for dinner tonight. Um, I sort of feel like I wanna like order something from real close because um, it's Lent, uh, a seafood just to keep our small businesses, you know, going where we can just pick up. Um, I don't know, we're debating that. So if we do that, I'll show you what we're gonna eat. But I feel like I've done nothing for today's vlog for you guys, like not a thing of any interest. Um, but you know, I wanna have days like that, you know, and just wasn't really in the mood to do too much today, but just, you know, um, do some kind of YouTube work and, you know, been watching the news, which, you know, trying to stay a little bit informed. And tonight I think Mark and I are just gonna obviously chill out, have some dinner and, Maybe watch a new series or something like that on TV. Um, yeah, I'm gonna watch, I do wanna try that one. It's called A Million Little Fires or something about fires with Reese Witherspoon. That sounds really good in Kerry Washington. Um, I might, maybe we'll finish some of the Crown series because we still are on th season three. We haven't finished that yet. We're gonna do that probably. Maybe we'll do that tonight. Um, I know we're gonna start painting the office. Um, so I can't wait to get that started. That will probably be starting tomorrow. I don't know if we're gonna start this tomorrow or we might start the other two bathrooms. I'm not sure. Um, so, you know, we've got, a, I got all that to share in the next few days. Um, 
I don't really know. It's about really it. If anything interesting happens here in the next hour or so, I'll film it. If not, um, you know, I'll wrap this up early so you guys have something to watch. But um, I don't know. Maybe I'll go into the bathroom and show you this little contraption that I have for brush drying. It's sort of cool, and I really do need to clean my makeup brushes. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you guys. It's a um, drying solution, I guess they call it. Um, it's really cool. I put this thing together. It's easy to put together. I love because, I mean, there's plenty of room for all my brushes to hang them off of here. Um, there's um, a little thing you can put like your um, like beauty blenders and stuff like that in here. Um, so maybe if I do clean them, I'll show you them, you know, take a picture or show you tomorrow what it looks like with them drying on here. But this is the, do I have it upside down? I do. <laughs> this is the company. And um, I think it's pretty cool. So you can see here's like, you know, the beauty blenders, the brushes. Uh, and this is the name of the company. Um, so, yeah, I think it's great. I love having something that I can actually literally hang my brushes from. Because normally I clean them and I just sort of like have it on a towel and hanging, like the, the brush heads hanging off of here so they dry. But I like this so much better. Though, you know, it is a little bit big size-wise, but... You know, I'm just, I'll store it when I'm not using it, obviously. Uh, or I can just take it, take it apart real quick. But I think I might just store it. But um, anyway, that's probably going to be maybe uh, my little uh, chore tonight. Is uh, cleaning my brushes, which desperately they need it. I would share with you because I forgot to yesterday. Um, remember the company Vet? I'm, I'm probably saying this wrong, but um, I had that really super lovely sweatshirt on from them. These are the sports bras that I ended up getting from them. Um, here's a pretty black one with, I like the, um, here, let me see if I can show you, like the mesh. Really pretty. And then this one here, and this one has the zipper, which is great, easy to get on and off. Because I know sometimes these are so hard to get on and off. So, um, I like the zipper front, and this one has, you know, the, um, you could fix it according to, you know, whatever tightness you want, um, as far as underneath the bra, and the, rest area <laughs> and then here is the um their workout leggings and i like how they have their symbol here it's really cool these are so lightweight but i love the feel of them i think they have that kind of a technology to them um, i'll put more information but gosh they are super comfortable i can tell you um, so I think I'm going to be getting a ton of use out of all these in the upcoming weeks specifically because we're going to be sitting around and I want to be comfy and also, you know, I do got to get myself active, you guys. It's so important to get us active. Um, I know there's so many sites on YouTube and things like that that we could be just pulling up, you know, doing a little yoga, um, you know, just a little 30, you know, 10 minute or 30 minute kind of workout. So I really like these a lot and if it's something you're looking into, I'll list the information below. It is Lent, so um, I forgot to take fish out of the freezer. I'm so not used to staying in on a Friday night and making dinner. So I got to get, you know, used to just getting things out of the freezer. So, but, so we're going to do something easy tonight. We're going to do white clam sauce. I really like this brand of it. This is more of a local brand for us, but I'm sure you, you may be able to find it. I'm sure you might even have a, you know, brand that you really enjoy. And uh, linguine, so linguine and clam sauce. Whip up a little salad, and that's going to be uh, dinner tonight. Um, I know that we decided we're going to go ahead and just start getting the paint out and start painting the powder room, I think, tonight. And, you know, that takes, we got to take everything down, which is a small room. But you've got the toilet and stuff in the way. Um, and then if we do decide to get on to this office tomorrow, i got a lot to move out of the way. So... It will keep us busy, though, and keep us moving a little bit, which is good. We need to be moving, moving, moving. Um, so I'm going to, I'll probably, you know, share the dinner when it's done, and then at that point I'll call it a night, get this uploaded so you guys have something to watch. I don't even know what the heck I even talked about today. And then tomorrow we'll get up and uh, have some coffee together. Um, and then... Um, start preparing for more painting but if we do get the powder room done oh sure let me show you the before just that way in case we get started tonight which i know we're going to if i forget to show you the before then you won't understand what the yeah here's the powder room very very dark brown same as our office it's the same color and actually the same color that we have on this wall here 
okay but you know it's still like that flat because when we built this house of course they do everything in that flat which we can't stand we just need to upgrade it so you know you can easily wipe it so here it is get in here hey hi we hate that light we're gonna get a new light eventually too but it's this little room I'm going to make a little bit of a mozzarella tomato uh, salad with some fresh basil and some balsamic glaze to go along with our uh, linguine with white clam sauce. So basically I just got these little uh, fresh mozzarella and I've got my little cherry tomatoes, fresh basil, little S&P and some balsamic glaze. I'm just going to Chop them up a little bit and put them into two little bowls, one for Mark and I. Hey guys, I totally forgot to show you a picture of dinner. I didn't vlog it, but I do have a picture of it, so I'll put it in the end here. So, Archie, Archie, you're being bad. Hey, no, 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 no. Uh, so, Mark already got some paint going. He's gonna continue to paint the powder room, so I will show you that tomorrow. I'm gonna go ahead at 721, call it a night, get this thing edited and out for you guys tonight. Uh, so, I hope you're having a great Friday, and I'll see you guys in the morning.